my channel. So first things first, please, for the love of all that is holy, excuse the way I look. I literally look like somebody who is on an episode of intervention before they got their intervention. I look rough, all right? I woke up like an hour ago and I decided not to put any makeup on yet because there's some stuff in this video that I wanna try on my bare naked face so I didn't really wanna put on makeup but I think I'm gonna break this video up into two parts. So I can put stuff on my face so I don't look like this the whole day. It's a whole thing. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be unboxing the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Gothic Beach Collection. Another thing I wanna say, really quickly, is if you are coming onto this video to leave a comment that says you were still supporting Jeffree Star in 2023, you still buy Jeffree Star, don't even bother because I already beat you to it. So if you are going to click on a video that is literally titled Jeffree Star Cosmetics and you're going to leave a comment like that, you're the one who looks stupid, no offense. If you don't like Jeffree Star, don't click on a video that has Jeffree Star Cosmetics in the title. It's really that easy. I'll do me, you do you, all right? All right, cool. So this collection, when I heard about it, I was, oh boy, was I thrilled. I was very, very excited about this collection because if anyone can do a gothic palette, I feel that it's Jeffree Star, right? And I loved the, the outer packaging. I thought it looked beautiful. I was like, oh my gosh, like I know the second I open this, he opens this palette on camera, it is going to be a gothic heaven. It's going to be gorgeous. And then he releases the reveal video and he opens the gothic beach palette. It is probably the furthest thing from gothic I have ever seen in my life. And I know there's gonna be people that say there's different types of gothic, there's pastel goth, there's this goth. There's... Okay, I get it. But everyone, if you ask anybody, if you ask anybody and you say, what is gothic to you? They're going to give you like deep greens, blacks, silvers, grays, burgundies, reds. Like they're gonna give you gothic colors, right? And, um, there aren't any in this palette. <laughs> it was literally one of those things where I was like, oh my God, he's gonna open it, he's gonna open it. And then he opened it and I was like, <sighs> what is that? Um, but I got it anyway because I'm a Jeffree Star Cosmetics makeup palette collector. I have every single one that he has ever done. So by default, I had to get this just because my, my mind, my body, my soul, my everything wouldn't let me not get it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do, this video is going to be the unboxing. I'm gonna show you everything that I got. I'm gonna tell you how much I spent. I'm gonna tell you about my shipping debacle. And then, then the next part, we're actually going to try the palette and we're gonna test the formula because I have a theory that his quality of eyeshadows isn't the same. He says it's the same, but it's not the same. I don't know what it is. His palettes nowadays seem to be a little bit more powdery, a little bit harder to blend than his earlier ones. So yeah, that's gonna be in the second part of this video. And we're gonna try, keyword try, to make this palette gothic, even though it says gothic, but it's not. So with all of that rambling out of the way, uh, let's go ahead and open this bad lad up and I will tell you how much I spent. All right, kids, here we go. Here's what the inside of the box looks like. We have our little promo picture, which I absolutely love this picture. So here's the one that we got for this collection. We have Jeffree Star inside of a coffin, kind of like a little like mermaid moment going on here. Very cool, really like this picture. I do appreciate that he does do these still um, because I have every single one that he's ever sent out. So it's just very exciting for me. Okay, so what I got from this collection is I got the Vampire Glam Bundle, which was $85. And that comes with the Gothic Beach Palette, the eyeliners, and that little like cooling stick. That's what I really wanted to try today. And that was 85 and then I tried to get free shipping, but I couldn't find anything. So I just, just decided to get another Velour Liquid Lipstick, which was 18. So my subtotal was $103. Shipping was $8.99 and Michigan State Tax was $6.18, making my total $118.17. This, this order 
this collection shipped rather quickly, right? Like it shipped within a couple of days, which I was, you know, happy about. That's always exciting, right? Well, then it eventually made its way from California to Melrose Park, Illinois, and it sat in Illinois for over a week. Did not move. It got to Illinois, which, you know, so here's Michigan right here. Here's Michigan. Illinois is like right here. Kind of. So, like, we're neighbors, right? It just, it, it was just sitting in Illinois for over a week. For what possible reason, I have no idea. But it was very stressful. I thought they lost it. I was contacting UPS, DHL. I contacted Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I said, hey, why is my shit just, like, hanging out in Illinois right now? What's... What's the dealio here? And finally it moved and I got this package yesterday. So here we are to open it up. But that was very stressful. I don't know why it was sitting in Illinois. I noticed a lot of people were having that issue too where their shit from even different companies were just sitting in Illinois. So I don't know what Illinois is doing, but like, please stop. Thanks. All right, let's open it up, shall we? All right, so right on top, it looks like we have We have the little stuff. We have the four eyeliners. There are four eyeliners here. I have my velour liquid lipstick that I got. This is Celebrity Skin, one of my all time favorites. I wanted to pick up another one. And then we have the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Vampire Blur and Cool Face Stick. I'm actually very excited about this because this just sounds like it's going to feel chef's kiss on the skin. I don't know if you can use this as a primer. But if you can, that would be great. Bring your face back from the dead with our blurring and cooling face stick. Dry skin, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and then we have the big kahuna down, down here. And this is the Gothic Beach Palette. So there it is, guys. We finally got it. It is here. They should have changed the name of it because it's not Gothic. It's really not. It's not. Is it his greatest? Really? They're going to mow the lawn right now, today. All right, I'm just gonna try to do this as much as I can. <laughs> I really hope that you guys can't hear that. Oh my God, oh my God. The packaging of this is phenomenal. We have not seen a trunk style palette from Jeffree Star in a hot minute, all right? I didn't think we were ever gonna see another one again, but alas, we have one, and that was a big driving point for me, is I love the trunk makeup cases. I think they're great. Hang on, I gotta make sure my dog's not in here. Okay. My dog is severely terrified of bubble wrap and if he sees it, hears it, he like starts shaking and like convulses. He hates bubble wrap. So every time I used to have bubble wrap in the vicinity, I have to make sure he's not in view. Here is the outer box of the Gothic Beach Jeffree Star Cosmetics Artistry Palette. Look at that. Okay, this is actually like really nice, really cool. Has like a nice little scratchy texture to it. Very, very nice. I do like the box. I think I actually might keep the box. Okay, so we have the box, raw her. And when you open it up, so here is the Gothic Beach trunk palette oh my gosh so this doesn't have it has like a little bit of a 3d texture to it so here is an up close view of the palette and the letters are kind of like 3d we have this cool little like choker ring right here which i thought this was a really cool touch i thought that was really awesome oh my god it does it acts like it does open but I really, I don't think that's necessary, but it does, it, it works, it's a thing. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here is the Gothic Beach Palette. Ta-da! I know, very underwhelming, is it not? Do you guys see that? Very, very underwhelming. So I mean, yes, there are some pretty, you know, shadows in here, but as far as like Gothic goes, I'm only seeing like this bottom row right here, maybe, maybe could pass, especially these last three right here, perfect. But like, why do we have three purples right here? Why is that needed? Why do we have this random green right here? What is that? And the names of these eyeshadows are of course 
they're always great. Jeffrey, he does a really, he always does a really good job at naming his eyeshadows. So we have Anti-Sunburn, Don't Be a Beach, Burnt Out, Rusty Anchor, Sunray Slut, Sandcastle, Gothic Yacht, Beach Ball Breaker, Oh Buoy, Piranha Pretty, Vixen Vibration, Umbrella Attitude, Glittering Gloom, Macabre Manners, Parasol Passion, Fishnet Fix, Bite Marks, and SPF 666. Okay, so yeah, that's like the eyeshadow names are perfect. They're fantastic. What you see, the what's on the outside doesn't match what's in the inside, if that makes sense. I will be doing a makeup look with this while well, I will be trying to do a makeup look with this in uh, part two of this. Let's open up this bad lad right here, this vampire stick. So I don't, I don't remember if he said that you could use this as a primer or not. Oh my God. I'm back. I think they're done mowing the lawn now. So here is an up close view of the Vampire Blur and Cool Face Stick. And when you open it up, it looks like this. Very cool. It has a little protective seal on there and you basically just roll it up and put it on your face. I really, really want to try that. I'm going to avoid like this part because we got some <laughs> blemishes then I don't want to like transfer that to this you know this. we're gonna try this out so I'm just gonna roll her up hmm it's like it's like it has a smell but it doesn't you know what I mean and my skin is really sensitive so I don't normally get or try things like this because Usually if I try something new on my face, my face starts to turn really red, gets really hot, itchy, and starts to swell. So, I mean, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, right? So let's, let's try out this blur and cool stick. Okay. I don't think my skin likes that very much. <laughs> so I I really I really don't know like what the hell this is for at all. It's not as cooling as I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be like a whoosh, like an arctic blast of coolness just on my face. It's like kind of sticky so I feel like you could use this as a primer I suppose. So it's really not it's not bad. I just don't really get what it's for. Okay, so I guess I mean it kind of blurred a little bit, but not really. If you guys can give me a little more insight as to what the heck this is used for, I would love it. I love the name. And the very last thing for this is the eyeliners. And since I got the bundle, I got all four of the eyeliners. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with these kind of eyeliners, and let me tell you why. First of all, I feel like they don't ever last very long. You have to like shake them, and then I feel like you can only use them a very, very short amount of time before they either A, run out or dry out. There are four colors. We have a white, a lavender, a black, and kind of like a nude color. The white one is of course called Drug Lord, which is the exact same name as his white velour liquid lipstick. Then we have this lavender colored one, and this one is called Lavender Whore. <laughs> So sweet. And then we have the black one, which is of course called Gothic Beach. And then we have the nude colored one. And this one is called, of course, Vampire Nude. Here's what the black one looks like out of the box. It has the black on the end, so you know which is which. And here is what the tip of this one looks like. So, wow. It's definitely pigmented. It's definitely black. Um, it does look like we have some bleeding. Yeah, I'm like coloring. See, so yeah, I just kind of doodle a little like half-ass spider web on my hand just because I wanted to see how easy it actually was to do. But I don't know if you guys can see, but there's definitely some bleeding. Now this is on my hand, obviously, so I am gonna have like some little crevices in my hand that are going to bleed, but yeah, it does feel like it dries relatively quickly. 
So here is what the Vampire Nude shade looks like. I don't know why they're all bleeding so much. I really hope this doesn't happen on the eye. I don't know if it really is just because of my hand. But yeah, that is the black and the Vampire Nude shade. Let's try the Lavender Whore. Ooh, this one's really pretty. I like this one a lot. Okay, so here is the Lavender shade right next to Vampire Nude and the black. The Lavender is really pretty. It definitely looks more lavender in person than it does on camera. I don't know why my color is like washing it out so much, but it's definitely a lavender shade. And then of course we have the white one. And here's what Drug Lord looks like. So we have Gothic Beach, the black, Drug Lord, the white, Vampire Nude, the nude, and Lavender Horror, the lavender. So those are all of the eyeliners. I do like that they are very, very pigmented with just one go. I do like, it seems that they do dry down relatively quickly. Uh, definitely not as quick as other eyeliners that I have tried, and the bleeding. I don't know if that is because it's on my hand, but hopefully it doesn't happen on the eyes. These are really nice. I really like how the tip feels. And these are all called the Beach Proof Eyeliners. I don't know how much these are separately. Like I said, I did get the bundle, so they came with my order, but yeah. Uh, so far, I don't really have any complaints. We're really just gonna have to try them on the eyeballs. We're gonna try as much as we can for the actual try-on portion. Now, overall, I'm pretty happy with everything. I just, I wish Jeffrey would, I wanna say this in like the nicest way possible. It almost seems like he's recycling old colors and just reusing them in new palettes. I just, I feel like he's kind of lost his creative bug, as I'm gonna call it as to where he was creating something new and innovative and shocking. Like this collection could have been so incredibly badass, the palette especially, if it didn't look like this. Like I'm just not happy with the overall color story. And that is the end of part one of this video. If you guys liked it, let me know, give a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on all notifications, all of that good stuff. And I'm gonna get to filming part two of this video, which is going to be the makeup portion of it. So if you guys would like to see that, make sure you stay tuned for that. But until then, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below and I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye. Mwah.